Amy, watch out. I'm trying to put this over here. I'm gonna call mom. Hey, what are you doing? Sitting outside. Well, we just had our doctor's appointments. And? I got approved. I'm having surgery Tuesday at 10 a.m. Okay, what about Tammy? She's got to lose a little bit more weight. Oh. Uh -huh. Okay. She upset. Yeah. I figured she would be. All right, well, I'll talk to you later. All right, love you. Love you, too. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Are you upset with me because I'm going on through it without you, or? Okay, good. I don't want you to be upset. <clears throat> don't worry about me. I don't want you to slope backwards, though. If the shoe was in the other foot and you lost the weight and I lost didn't, I'd want you to go through it. I'm not holding you back. I didn't say you did. I heard. I'm just saying, if it was on the other foot, I would want you to do it, too, regardless of the pact. I know Tammy's kind of upset right now, but so am I. I got approved. And I can't really act happy about it. It's not right to hold your family down. You should want the best for them. I know you need water. What else you need? I don't need anything. Just leave me the hell alone. Whatever. I'm used to being left behind. I'm used to seeing Amy move on without me. I wish I was invisible. I'm disappointed in myself. I just want to shut everybody out and just everybody to leave me alone. What do you want to eat, Tammy? Tammy. She ain't like that. And eat. I ain't worried about today. She got her fingers stuck in her yeah. I guess we'll just go get her some water. Yeah. If she gets hungry later, she'll tell us. Yeah. That's all I can do. Tammy's shutting down. She's not talking to anybody. She's not listening to anybody. She's disappointed, and I understand that. But she's acting like a big baby right now. A lot of weight's off my chest right now. It just has to be. I made it over this one obstacle. Now I got to get you over this obstacle. Why do I have to stay here and listen to her brag about this Because you're my sister. You're supposed to like to hear me brag about something that happened good to me. I know Tammy's pissed right now, but my surgery's in two days. I have to get ready. I can't worry about her. You just got to leave her alone. Yesterday, Dr. Proctor told me that I wasn't approved, and I just shut down. I know I need to get some support from at least a friend, so I decided to video chat my online boyfriend, Jerry. We've only video chatted for a couple weeks now, and it's nice to know that he is a real person, and he isn't trying to catfish me. Hello. Hello? How's the trip? It's all right. The good thing with Jay is he likes bigger people, bigger women. And I think I do gravitate more to skinnier people. He's my eye candy. <laughs> so I'm going to tell you the results of the doctor appointment. Okay. And he got approved. Word. That's what's up. I didn't. Oh, you didn't? Yeah. 
Uh, when? Don't give up. I'm not giving up. Just push it. And you don't get the problem. Just do what them doctors tell you to do. You want me to have surgery? Be honest. You like me big, don't you? I do, but I understand that. If you have to have that, you know, for you to get healthy, you gotta do what you gotta do. Talking to Jerry about not having a surgery is like comforting, knowing that he still supports me no matter what. We need to be in person. I know that. <laughs> this be a perfect time for you to come and see me because it's closer. Oh, that'd be cool. Jerry's never met me in person, and Atlanta's only four hours away from where Jerry lives. So I think it's time to start making some plans. Try, make it happen. <laughs> <laughs> I really want to meet him in person, but I'm also nervous. I'm not sure if he's gonna think I'm bigger than what he thought, or I don't look like I do in my pictures. I don't, I don't know. I'm bored in Atlanta, I'm gonna call you every day. Alright, that worked. <laughs> Bye. Bye. So, Jerry came and see me last night, all the way from North Carolina. I was like so shocked. I was super nervous. Talking to Jerry on video call is a whole lot different than talking to him in person. He's a lot taller than what I imagined. <laughs> and he's skinnier too. We had a f***ing awesome time. Got some hickeys. Yes, we made love, but it wasn't about that. Best part about him being here was just having somebody in the bed with me. Just to wake up to, to kiss goodnight, to hug. Somebody around me that I can laugh and be myself with. He likes me as I am. Meeting Jerry in person was better than what I thought it was going to be. It's just giving me the drive to want to get out and work harder so I can get approved for the surgery. I never felt this way about somebody. And he was the happiest I've ever been.